Hi everyone. Today we're going to go through the settings of the vMix Web Controller. The vMix Web Controller is a powerful tool that allows you or multiple people to control your entire vMix production from a smartphone or a tablet. So first of all, let's go to the settings of vMix. Once there, go to the Web Controller tab. Here you'll see all the settings you need to know for your vMix Web Controller. So at the top, make sure that it's enabled via this tick box and then make a note of this website address. This is the website address that you need to enter into your device's browser in order to get the vMix web controller to work. So make a note of it now, write it down or grab your device and we'll enter the website address into it. For our demonstration today, I have an old iPad 1 that I found in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. So no one was using it. I figured it'd be a great way to demonstrate how to use the vMix web controller. I also have a Android tablet here that I bought for $50 from the local supermarket. So you could use something like that. Or alternatively, we have an, an old Android phone that we bought for cheap off eBay. So you could use something like that as well. Basically, all you need is a device that has a browser on it and that you can connect to the same network as the vMix computer. So those were just some examples. You could use an iPhone or an LG phone or a Surface, something like that. As long as it's got a browser in it, then you can use it. So you'll need to get that website address from the vMix settings and enter it, in, it into the address bar. So the vMix web controller is split up into four screens and there's some icons along the top here that represent the four different screens. The first one is shortcuts, then we have controller, tally lights and title editor. The first screen that will load up is shortcuts. This, represent, this screen represents any shortcuts you have set up in vMix. So prior to this demonstration I set up three shortcuts for A, B, and C. So if we press the first one now, you'll see that it will perform a fade to the vMix promo video. So you can see that happen in our vMix production. Try right, cube zoom that we have set up. And finally, back to the camera. So here we are, we have the camera here. This is a great way to use the vMix web controller to perform any shortcut function that you have set up in your vMix production. You could have somebody standing off on the side with their smartphone or their tablet performing these functions and not having to worry about anything else. Another cool feature with the vMix web controller is that you can set up specific shortcuts just for the person using the vMix web controller. So I'll show you in the settings of vMix. So click on settings, then go to shortcuts. Now these are the three shortcuts that we have set up. I'll go to the first one and I'll click edit. So this is the same screen that you'll see when you're adding a shortcut to vMix. Right down the bottom, there's a new section called short show in web controller. So if this is ticked, this will appear in the uh, vMix web controller and so someone that's using the vMix web controller could have certain shortcuts that they want to use just on the web controller. So basically if you have somebody using the vMix web controller you can just give them maybe even something as small as three shortcuts to perform and just narrows down any sort of changes that they might be able to make. Okay, so the second screen is the controller screen. This is a representation of all the inputs that you have set up in vMix. They're all numbered based on their input number and each have a letter to represent what they are. For example, C is camera, V is video, T is title. Now the top row represents your output window Anything that's the sorry the square that's lit up green here will represent what input is in your output window in vMix. You can use the quick play by pressing 
D square here. So say we want to switch to this second video, we'll just press that and that will appear in the VMix production. You can then go to this video by pressing it. So that will just do a quick play if you want to go to that particular input um, in the live output window. Now the second row represents the preview window in your VMix production. Any input that's in the preview window will appear orange here. So as you can see, the second video is in the preview window. We change that to the camera, then that will appear in the preview window in our production. The next four rows represent your overlays. So I've accidentally pressed that, we'll turn that off. Um, so if we have a title set up. I wanna, wanna set that title as the second overlay. So I'll press that button. As you can see, Gary, the, his title has now appeared in the VMix production and I can turn that off by pressing that button. Along the bottom, we have all of the transitions that you have set up in your VMix production. These are a direct representation of all of the transitions that you have set up in the middle here in your VMix production. So if we want to switch between the output and the preview, all we need to do is press one of these transitions. It just works the same way as in your VMix production. So let's press cut and as you can see in the VMix production, that's performed a cut between the preview and the output. Let's go for a slide. There you go, it's performed a slide. So this window, this controller window is basically a shrunken down version of your VMix production. Let's go for the third icon, which is the tally lights. Now a tally light system lets the person in front of the camera know which one is currently live. So we've integrated a tally light system using a color on the browser. We'll select the iPad camera, which is this one here. It's currently showing a bright orange screen. Now the orange represents that it's in the preview window. If we transition that to the output, you can see that it's turned green. The green represents the output window or what is live. The ta this tally light system is handy so you could let the person that's in front of the camera know that the camera is live by showing a green color or in preview by showing an orange color. If your cameraman has a mobile phone or a tablet, they can set it up next to the camera and it will display to the person in front of the camera whether it's live or whether it's in preview. So it's just a simple way to install Institute tally lights into your vMix production. So to get back to the main screen, we'll hit the back button here. And then we will click the T, which represents the title screen or the title editor. We already have a title set up in vMix. So we'll select that title here. And then I will load it up on our vMix production to show our example. Here we have Gary. Gary is somebody that's coming on an interview for our video. So we have his name there. So when he comes up, everybody knows who he is. So what we need to do if we want to change that to the next person coming on is change that name to whoever's coming on. So say we have Jerry coming on now. We'll type in the name and then we'll click the update button. That's then changed the title in the vMix production. Because it's live, uh, the, the title is live, it will display the new name live. But if it wasn't, then it wouldn't display there straight away. It would appear when you changed, added that title to the overlay. Say Jerry's gonna come back on the show later on and we wanna have that stored in the title presets. What we can do is press the add preset button here. And as you can see down the bottom, it's now added Jerry as a title preset. So let's add a new title. Let's say Terry is coming on the show. We'll type in Terry and we'll click update. So Terry has now changed in the title screen of our vMix production. You can add Terry as a preset. And as you can see, Terry is now a preset down the bottom here. 
Now we can switch between any of these presets at any point by clicking the apply button. So we'll click apply. And then we go, Jerry's back on the show. And we'll go to back to Terry. Another cool feature of the title editor is if you make a mistake, like you type in the wrong thing, you can click the revert button here and it will just revert back to the last name or title that was written there. You can then delete any of these presets that you have down the bottom by clicking the X button. So there you have it. That was a quick overview of the vMix Web Controller. It's a powerful tool that allows you to control your whole vMix production right from your phone or tablet. It also allows you to break up your production and give people individual responsibilities such as changing titles or performing shortcuts. All they need to do is to connect their phone or tablet to the network. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or send us an email via our website, vmix.com.